Hello and welcome to another episode of Travel Chef and today we are going to make is a quick breakfast recipe. It's a Sunday morning and we want to make something fast. What I need to make is potato crepes. To make this potato crepe, uh, we had used mashed potatoes, some eggs, made it into a batter and then we made this potato crepe. Please check the description column below and you will find the list of ingredients that we have used to make this potato crepe. Simple and easy recipe that can be made. Also, this can be done in few minutes and kids will really love this. So let's see how it's done. So come on along with us. To make a potato crepe, we are adding three boiled potatoes into a mixer bowl that we can just crush it and place it into it. The next ingredient to add is three pods of garlic that we have peeled and we just drop it into the mixer bowl. The third ingredient to add is 3 eggs that we have broken and we will be adding with the rest of the ingredients. To this ingredients we will be adding 200 ml of raw milk. We will also be adding little more milk in the later stage of this video. The next ingredient to add is half teaspoon of salt. The next is half teaspoon of red chilli powder. You need to add half teaspoon of pepper powder. The next we need to blend all these ingredients into a smooth batter. Blend all the ingredients together and this is the batter that we have got. We have transferred all the ingredients now from the mixer bowl into a glass bowl and make sure there is no lumps in the batter. We then add 3 tablespoons of maida or all purpose flour along with the batter. Along with the all purpose flour that we have added or maida we are adding 3 tablespoons of wheat flour. We need to mix all these ingredients together nicely. As we mix all these ingredients together, please ensure there is no lumps in the batter. As we see the consistency of this batter is kind of thick. So we need to add little more milk to make this batter like a dosa batter and it should be a bit watery too. As we stir a batter, please ensure there is no lumps in the batter. If not, you can transfer it to a mixer bowl. The mixer will ensure there is no lumps forming. We are adding some more milk, almost 100 ml of milk along with the batter so that this reduces the consistency into a watery state. The consistency of this batter is like a dosa batter, it is watery. At this stage we need to check the salt as well as the spiciness of this dosa batter. So we are adding another half teaspoon of salt since it was less. We have added another half teaspoon of chilli powder to the batter. The next spice to be added is pepper powder which is quarter teaspoon. Once again mix all the ingredients together thoroughly. To this batter we add a few cut coriander leaves. This will enhance the taste of this batter. We mix the coriander leaves with the rest of the batter. And finally this is the consistency of a batter. Next a pan is getting heated and then we pour one ladle of batter onto the pan and we spread it out a bit. 
just ensure to cover out the edges which does not have batter on it. We wait for one side of the dosa to get golden brown in color. Next we flip the other side for that side to get cooked. We can also use a lid to cover the dosa pan so that the batter cooks faster. The other side of a dosa batter is cooked. Now a potato crepe is ready to be served. We have transferred a potato crepe onto a plate and we can drizzle it with a little of sauce. And this needs to be eaten piping hot and this is good for a breakfast or for a snack. Do try it at home and let us know how it has come out. And this is a potato crepe ready to be eaten. Enjoy it. Well, we hope you like watching our video and we request you to like, share and comment on our channel. If you find making this potato crepe pretty easy, please share it with your friends so they too can try this recipe at home. Also, don't forget to enter your comments in the comment section below. This will really help us to create newer videos and better recipes. And for the next video, take care, stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye and see you next week.